Turn up the volume and listen in. It's time for breakfast with Life Radio. Only Life Radio could make breakfast sound this good. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Okay. So your so your position is that if they vote for you, being a, a minority, you have better chance of using your vote to benefit Mayor Machine. Absolutely, Rob. Absolutely. Uh, I will have the bargaining power like no other because uh, in Ottawa, you know, with 380 um, member of parliaments, you need 170 member of parliaments to have a majority. Need no party is going to have the majority. So in a minority, in order to govern, in order to pass legislation, in order to uh, continue, um, you have to have 170. So guessing minority, 140 seats. Uh, roughly, well, they're still going to have to do persuasiveness. And with a neutral candidate uh, like myself and other candidates like Jody Wilson Raybalt, I'm certain that she'll end up getting her ride. And Jane Philpott and many others across the country that are running as an independent um, will be the neutral voice and will be the bargaining voice for their riding to benefit the people. Uh, and they will need that persuasive, they will need to come and, and work. But I will be working for the ben benefit here of the people with the party that's going to want to work and continue to show that we're going to benefit the people here in this riding and, and push forth legislation and reform. There's so much reform in some legislation and policies, you know, for industries and, you know, for, for season work, for instance, for, for the EI program, the reform that's got to take place there to continue to meet the needs of the people, um, uh, not just one category or one equation e works for everybody. You know what I mean, Rob? So that's what I'm going to be working on is better reform, better legislation, better policies for the people. Okay. So you, that, you got a little, quite a bit out of that. Uh, sounds like you'd be working with the independents and using your uh, sort of pooling together to make a difference. Well, if, if we believe in the same, then we will be working in the same direction. If we, that's going to work for the people in this riding is what I'm going to be working for. Of course, I'm going to be uh, working for all Canadians for the betterment for many uh, legis reform policies and continue to make it better. That's what we're supposed to do. That's why I always continue to stay with politics and stay with policy making. It's supposed to be for the people. It's supposed to be to make things better for us all, right? And it's supposed to be... Um, for the people, by the people is governing, right? The dictatorship that we witness and continue to witness, you know, all, all over the years, it's not what it used to be, and it's definitely not getting any better. And, and people are frustrated every day that they say, you know, I, I, I've just, I've had enough. Well, I, I understand. I, I as well have, have witnessed and seen and, and been through a number of experiences and, and, and distastefulness that, that I understand full well what they're talking about. Uh, moving forward, I can just uh, continue to respect um, people and respect um, other each party, all parties, um, to the fullest because that's who I'll be working with when I get to Ottawa. All of them, and and I hope to be a, the representative here to be able to do so. Um, okay. Great answer. So, is there any particular thing that you uh, going into politics that moving forward that you'd like to see happen in Mayor Machi? Like ideas that you'd like to bring up. You know, once if you if you get elected and you're you're in government and you're talking to the, the people that are, are making the changes, is there particular things that you'd like to see besides the main topics that we've uh, talked about well, that I've missed out? I, I do know that the seniors, for instance, have uh, you know they still feel like they want to be long. They want to contribute to society, and there's a great deal of. Uh, uh, resources out there with their seniors and some of them a lot great deal of them are feeling that they um, are stricken from having an income because those that for instance some of them that are on supplements or that continue to rely on the the the, the checks the, the the funding from federal government and and their CPP and whatnot um, are restricted from being able to have extra X amount of dollars. I do know that uh, one particular party does is going to implement some changes and allow it. Well, I think we need to implement as, you know, as much as we can in order to fill the void of uh, the lack of employment, for a better word, or employees. They, 
there's a great deal of seniors that would love to go out there and, and whether they work for one hour, 10 hours, 20 hours a week. Well, let's, let's, let's increase those uh, um, in strategies and let's increase that um, reward and, 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 and let's implement something to make sure that they can do that and that they can continue not to be, uh, not to be regulated by uh, regulations and, and that they are allowed and, and capable and can continue to do what they, they want and that's to be a, a, a full a contributing member of society um, and, and, and not everybody can do that, uh, not all seniors, but, but those that wish to, not, 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 not let's, let's not punish or, or penalize them, um, you know, with, with taking away what they, they get, right? They, they just... So that's something that I'd like to be able to uh, work on and, and continue to work with part, a party or whoever's going to, uh, you know, in policy making. Um, and, and like I say uh, earlier, the reform that has to be done uh, for industries, the, the reform that's got to continue to be worked on uh, with government policies, I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Well, this might be a little harder note, but it's sort of, uh, where, where do you feel on green issues like the carbon tax and how do you feel as a government we should be moving forward to help with the environment and things like that. I mean yeah. the Liberals have their stance, the uh, carbon tax and that's their policy. The Conservatives have a non-carbon tax policy and but as independently how do you feel which way is the better way to go? Yeah. And I can talk you know, my opinion is one thing, but I try to talk on the, the people from what I'm hearing from the people and people are feeling their taxed to death. Sure. Forgive my, forgive my, but that's the words that are coming out of so many people. We are taxed so much, and New Brunswick is the highest amount of tax, you know, oh, across yeah. the country. New Brunswick is the highest, which is, which is also creating an economy issue for other new businesses to come in, and because of the amount of tax, it can be causing an economy issue as well. It's, it's, it depends on who you talk to and, and which way you look at it. Um, no, people are struggling. The carbon tax is creating extra dollars at the grocery store, or extra dollars at the pumps, and people are having a hard time now as it is to survive. Uh, New Brunswick is uh, challenging the federal government presently with the carbon tax. Um, the, there's two sides to it federally. The liberals have put that out there and the Conservatives are going to take it away. So what I'm hearing is take it away. So when Allison gets there, I'll be taking it away, is what other people tell me what to do here. Uh, unless uh, a, a change of heart comes across between now and, and, and going to Ottawa. So your I, feeling I is the anticipate. carbon tax is just a tax that doesn't really work or, or help with the environment? And, and going back to the environment, there's so much more that we can do. There's always more we can do. It's, there's different point of views, but really we're, we're, we're taxing the everyday people for tax, for doing. Is it changing what's actually the issues? Yeah, that's the question. <laughs> Is it working? It's, well, what's, uh, yeah. where's that money going yet? And, and it's just, it's hurting. It's affecting people out of their pockets and continuing to affect people. So really, where, what's the good? You know, some provinces will say, and I see different sides of the story, different provinces are saying, well, it is benefit, beneficial. And it's, and, and, but I'm hearing the people here, and they're not a happy, they're not liking uh, to have a few extra dollars towards their grocery bill or less in their grocery carts. Uh, or you know, on a, on a fixed income to continue to to to, to have difficulties and, and have a hard time. Well, that's 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 distasteful of a government to not look at everybody. Not all equations fit everyone, and and that's the whole part of governing is to make sure we correct those changes, province to province, riding to riding, and person to person. Um, Yes, there are a great deal of uh, uh, stresses on people on the environment. My, my own children are, have great concerns about our environment and what's to come. Um, statistics, there's a lot of statistics out there uh, about our climate change. There's a lot of other difference of opinions uh, of what's causing the climate change. Uh, our forestries have, have diminished. And, and, uh, but I know living here in this riding for 
50 plus years that, uh, you know, the deterioration from storms and, and our shores uh, are, have uh, always gone on and we've always had a, a great deal of, you know, uh, fluctuation with the waters. Um, but but um, overall, uh, there's always more that we can do, Rob. There's always more we can do with recycling, with implementing, uh, fi make, making funding available so municipals and, and provincial can, can, can continue to make it better. And, and let's work together because overall well, we can all contribute. I, I say the same thing to all the politicians. My suggestion is if you, when you get there, come up with a a jobs program that builds a green environment. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they're going to take care of the what they're going to do, let's find jobs for people, creating solar panels, creating, oh, cleaning absolutely. up the environment, and whatever. But that's the goal. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And there are fun. There's there needs to be more funding into making it better. Absolutely. And I, I do look at a lot of the Green Party and what they do have to offer. And there are some wonderful strategies and wonderful implementing policies and funding that needs to be implemented. Absolutely there are. I mean, there's a great deal of costs yes. with a lot, and that's concerning when there's a great deal of other issues and concerns as well. Um, but yeah, it has to be combined for sure. There has to be, you have to create jobs at the same time. So those jobs are bringing in tax revenue. So the balance, the government that finds balance, that's the one. I haven't heard the correct answer yet or anybody that's come up with the real policy yet, but there's, there's something there. I just, if they can start working together, maybe we can well, figure out what it is. Well, that's the whole idea, and that's what we're all supposed to do, Rob, is work together. We're all yes. supposed to continue to collaborate and, and work with one another. And I always welcome the community to come in in and continue. I, that's what I want, and that, that's how, as an independent candidate, that I will be able to Im Im implement changes is by the people that are invested in this community and that are educated in and dealing with each each of these policies and each of these uh, reforms that have to be implemented, right, is by speaking with the people themselves. Because I don't know everything, nor would I uh, let on that I do. No, and that, again, that's life radio. I get on my high horse here, but we uh, education is the key. Our, our schools should be implementing things that teach people about our environment, Thank you. what we can do that's yes. different to improve our environment. Making a tax is one thing, but what is the tax doing is what I've never quite come to understand yet. Somebody will explain it to me one day, but once we, uh, if we can educate people on what we can do with our environment, then we know how to go forward. So let's find the experts, the scientists, say, okay, let's put this through the education system and reward the system for creating those programs. Thank you. No, that's no. true. Yeah. Very much so. Some, something to that nature. That's, that's, I wish the conversation would start going towards that kind of a... And our educators are the specialists. Yes. We have to continue to remember they are the ones that know the best and know how to implement them and to work with those. You know, as their M anyone's member of parliament or anyone's MLA, you know, we need to take those advice from everyone, from all the specialists that do uh, have the experience and the education to, and, and, and hands on in order to know what it does needs to take to make the difference. Yeah, because I, I feel it, it's bad on all sides. I, if I listen to my children, the government's killing the environment, they're going to be dead in 10 years. If I listen to some parties, the governments, we're all going to die from taxes. <laughs> like it's a, one extreme to the next. It's like yeah. somewhere in the middle, is there's we have a problem, we have an issue, we all should be working towards a goal. And, and I, I don't hear enough of the policies about how we're going to fix it as opposed to numbers and scare tactics from one side to the other. So. I'd like to see more of that in government, get that conversation going in a better light. So hopefully you can bring that if you Absolutely. get elected through that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and what about, how do you feel about church and community and volunteer groups and what's what's your opinion on that kind of stuff? The, the, the soul of the community is volunteers. Without volunteers, we wouldn't see the, the festivities and the events that continue to go on in every end of the riding and in every uh, uh, the, every, every, every person there's always something that we can continue to give right and whether it be an hour or a week uh, there's always something you know uh, to give to give back as far as churches um, in what aspect are you asking us uh, spiritually well I was talking with the mayor the other day about this and he was uh, 
we go to different churches and everybody has their it, this isn't a, a denomination thing or something but churches as a whole we're the volunteer groups of our, our the backbone of our societies the churches are, are having a fallout of course for many different reasons and different ways people think now but what we are losing is that core where people get together to plan good things and do good things within our churches so that's something we need to get the conversation back on a better light of you know church is not a bad thing <laughs> it's a not. good thing it's a place to go and, no. and get renewed and people to to find out about what's going on in their community so I absolutely we got, agree yeah so that, that's something I really it's just good for the soul yes and it's good for to continue to be to, to, to spread goodwill and it's just good to uh, be a good person and try to find betterment uh, with yourself first and foremost but then to others as well um, and when we hear that in our churches and we hear that from one another from gathering we I always gain um, a great deal of inspiration from others uh, and and, and uh, the feel of goodness when I go to church suppers when I go to events that are taking place at, um, it, with congregations whether it be a breakfast uh, or Oh, we got somebody breaking out their song. Oh, Somebody's it's happy birthday up. today. Oh, <laughs> That's nice. That's one thing about doing it live, you get to connect on everything. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. That is nice. Birthday breakfast. Yeah, that <laughs> At is the lovely. goodie shop. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so no, that's great. I, I have these same conversations with my own children at home about because they're not churchgoers or not you know what I mean? So there's these the battle of you know, different different ways of looking at things. And it's respect to all. Yeah. Because there's should no we're we're all individuals, but I respect all the differences that there is with religion and, and difference of opinion and and if we can respect one another and can continue to talk and respect there's no barriers then, right? It's when we show disrespect or disagreeing or conflict or uh, that's when the barriers go up and the divisiveness continues and there's been a great deal of divisiveness that continue oh, yes, over yeah. issues that and Even within really the churches, I, I talk to a lot of the different church members and pastors now and I, the, the church itself, I feel, needs to, to open their arms in a better way to people because we need people to come out and find out what's going on in our communities and the messages need to be about making our communities better you know what i mean and spreading the whole message of making a better place to live for everybody so and not about what's wrong and right all so much i think that's 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 sort of got to fade away and what what we can work as together and build together well ev everybody has their own point of view and their yeah. own perspectives and their own judgments and and, and they can be skewed by so many things right absolutely. how you're brought up what you're readings are what your parents taught you like so and it's an open-mindedness that some I've yeah. tried to keep very open mind in, in aspects that well you're entitled to your opinion you are respectfully you know as well as this person as well is entitled to their opinion but let, let's see okay what are we working towards yeah like when I when I talk to people and they say oh I don't want to go to church that's just a, I always tell them, well, you know, you go to church, sometimes the message gives, it inspires you to do, you think, oh, I didn't think on that note. Or you meet somebody who's working on a project that you like to do, and uh, so you can get inspired in that sense. So you're not always going to agree with whatever church you go to. The message might be like, you might be like, no, that's, that's a little left of what I think, but that's okay. You know, you can hear all kinds of messages. And if, you, and if you're not ready to go to a church, go to a volunteer group that's helping with a supper or helping with a old people driving around food and giving them at their doors or mowing lawns or things where you meet people and get involved and i see a lot of people now are watching the sermons on tv mm -hmm. or on youtube or they're live because they can't leave their home for for health reasons or a mental health issues or whatnot so just staying in tune with with a higher power sure. is is uh good for for us all um and i think government has continued some somewhat not all uh, some continue to forget um, that there are there are there's powers out there that uh, yeah. that that's not well, all. Well, there's a sense of good and bad, and we need to. to yeah, make well, sure I know there's a lot of good. good. There's a lot of higher people, 
powerful people out there that I meet every day and I know that the power radiated from them and the, just the sense of careness and 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 and, hum, and just honesty and and good taste and goodwill those are the high powers right there within our own community um, and yes of course a higher power and spiritually for those that uh, you know need to find some something to look at or something to look for a better measure or, or hope there's so many people that are struggling and and to get back to to finding what's going to work for them right and whether it be to give volunteer hours or whether it be to to pray or whether it be to read the bible or to read a good story or just to to call somebody on the phone and and see how their their day is doing that's what uh, i feel is the sense is, is we need to get away from the phones and the TVs and get out and get shaking hands again and you know meet with the people. Times have changed. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like uh, you know even even in my own family I see it all the time. My my kids work all day and then they they'll come home or they'll go to their house and they'll first thing is this TV's on and they're they're connected to their artificial whatever zone and they have no idea what's going on. I ask them about politics stuff and they they don't know who's they don't even know half the people running. You know they don't know what's going on in their communities. I ask them about the volunteer groups so. I'm, I'm, I've, I've realized my own things I need to do with them, so get out and be an example and do that kind of stuff. So hopefully we can uh, create more of that in the community. Mm. Involvement and awareness. Yes, oh yeah, yeah. And, and when you meet with groups, I have politicians on, but I also have all the, the different underground groups that are working to help her make her community better with mental health, with oh, food, so with everything, and uh, the stuff they go through, the stuff they do, out of their own personal stuff. They start out thinking, oh, I'm going to help this group. And then personally, they get so involved that the, it takes over their life. It's, it's amazing the stuff people put into it. So I, I think I as governments, we need to support those kind of groups as much as we can. And I see it, groups everywhere, every end of this riding, including the reserves, uh, in, you know, uh, including um, not just churches, you know, it, it's uh, every end of the riding. Um, the chiefs, you know, are, are great leaders as well in the communities and continuing to work together, um, you know, as leaders, right, in, in making it better for their communities and their individuals in their community in all aspects. So my hats are off to everyone that's continuing to try to make a difference and betterment for the people, right? Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I've asked as many questions as I could about everything going on. I wish you best luck going forward with the, the campaign and Thank knocking you. on doors and, you know. Well, just remember when you do both, that you're, you do have a voice with me, Rob. The people in Miramichi Grand Lake, every end of this riding, they will not, their voice, their, their vote will not be wasted. They will have a representative guaranteed. Uh, with a minority government, we don't know which way this uh, is going to be taken and we don't know who's going to be the opposition across Canada. So, in one absolute positivity in my vote, if, uh, if they, you know, uh, if I'm told, you know, when you're voting is to consider myself because we're not going back. We're not taking the chance. We're going to be guaranteed a voice in Ottawa. And we're going to be guaranteed prosperity moving forward. So, uh, I, I, again, thank you for having me. And, and thank you to the viewers, uh, respectfully. I, I, I'm always grateful to be able to, to talk to as many people. But this has been humbling and, and uh, a great experience. And well, we enjoyed well. being thank down you. at the, the Goody Shop today. Always. Nelson, uh, it's always, always nice to have to put this first, yeah. And I thank you for coming out. Thank Very you. Very nice to meet thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too, Rob. Thank you. That's great. I think that went good. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to 